How's it guys? We're still in Eden Vale for the second episode. We've got a slightly more interesting and deadly, and or should I say venomous creature called the forest cobra. These are the largest of the Naja genus, meaning they're the largest cobras in the world. This is the southernmost subspecies of the forest cobra. There's three subspecies, or three color morphs, should I say. One from up north in West Africa, and then more in Congo all the way down to KwaZulu-Natal. These are also the only species of cobra in Africa that frequent forests and actually live up in the canopy and the treetops. They're extremely, extremely powerful snakes. As you can see, this is already quite a big snake, just over about 2.5 meters. They range from about 1.2 to about 3.1 meters. They're not very aggressive snakes. They'll be very defensive if cornered, but because of their very shy disposition, the forest cobras tend to escape into the bush very quickly. The venom of the forest cobra is an extremely potent neurotoxin. It's a postsynaptic neurotoxin. The neurological effects are almost immediate in a bite. They're extremely intelligent reptiles and will actually work out their handlers and kind of work out the best way to get away from us or bite us. In severe cases of envenomation, um, you can die within half an hour to two hours time. This is amazing, amazing fangs. See, he's trying to twist now. I'm not gonna allow him to do that. Amazing, look at those fixed front fangs for injection. And I've got a little bit of the shakes. This is a really amazing species of cobra to be respected, but hardly ever encountered. So you are lucky if you do encounter one of these in the wild. After annoying him enough, you can see all he wants to do is go home. He just wants to relax. So on that note, thank you very much, Mr. Forest Cobra, and we'll catch you guys next time.